everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I just finished taking down all of my Easter decor off of my coffee bar. And I'll link that down in the description box if you wanna go back and look at that. I loved the pastel theme that was going on, but now I'm thinking more into the summertime. Now last summer I had a really pretty lemon theme. So I'm really thinking about staying along those lines of the yellow and the bright happiness of the yellow color. Except this year I really wanna do a bumblebee theme instead. So if you enjoy creating your own home decor on a budget, especially like the video I'm going to share with you today on how to make home decor using Dollar Tree supplies, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell too so you get notified when these videos go live. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's tutorials. Here is a quick look at the different supplies I have from Dollar Tree that I'll be using today. I have one of their mason jars, a set of their plastic flower pots, some nautical rope, jute, one of their cute signs, I love these. They have the little raised circle in the middle, as well as some of their 14 millimeter pearl beads. We're gonna start with a cute little beehive. I'm gonna use one of the Dollar Tree flower pots and nautical rope. I also have a sheet of black felt scissors and my hot glue gun. I'm gonna start by wrapping my flower pot all the way around with my nautical rope and my hot glue. So I've gone ahead and I've wrapped this to the bottom, which is now gonna be the top, but I haven't completely covered it. I've grabbed out some extra rope that I had on hand, so make sure you grab two rolls of this depending on the size of your beehive that you're gonna be making. But I wanna make a little loop or a handle at the top, so I'm gonna cut this rope down, let's see, I would say probably about eight inches long, and I'm gonna glue it to the top like this and then we're going to cover up these ends here by continuing to wrap this around itself and up the handle a little bit. So there's my cute little beehive, and instead of cutting a hole in the front, I've used some black felt and just cut a circle out. I'm gonna hot glue that on there, and then this is four ply jute that I'm gonna use to hot glue around the felt so it gives it more of a finished look. And then I also have some buffalo check black and white ribbon. I'm gonna tie a little bow onto the top. Now I'm gonna be using a vinyl decal for this next one to create some Ray Dunn inspired coffee mugs. This one is actually a Ray Dunn mug that I have. This says Hustle on one side. So if you have Ray Dunn mugs, just flip them over to the back and then you can create your own mug, whatever you want it to say. Or you can go to Dollar Tree and they also have white coffee mugs you could use instead. Or even Walmart has mugs that are under a dollar. So that's a good option. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and create these decals. I'm gonna be using the Bumblebee for an upcoming tutorial that you're, you'll see in just a little bit. For this mug, I'm gonna use the Be Happy. You could also put the honey on a mug, but I'm gonna save that and put it on one of my Ray Dunn canisters so I can make my little set all match. But you could also 
Um, put this on anything. You can put it on wood, you can put it on glass, plastic, all kinds of different things. So these are just suggestions and ideas, but if you have a vinyl machine, you can create your own. I am using the font The Skinny and Oracle number 651 matte black vinyl. I use a Silhouette Cameo to cut mine. If you don't have a vinyl machine, go to crossinmyheart.com. I will have this set ready to go just like this. It'll have a transfer sheet on top. So all you have to do is peel the transfer sheet back, apply it to your mug, remove the transfer sheet, and you have your own Ray Dunn inspired coffee mug. And I have all my supplies out to make my bumblebee themed garland. I have my 14 millimeter pearl beads and some black and yellow chalk paint, a foam paintbrush for each one. I'm also gonna be using some Buffalo Check teeny tiny ribbon that is from Hobby Lobby to kind of accent it and some jute from Dollar Tree. I have this cookie sheet, which is from Dollar Tree too. Um, I am sure I'm gonna get comments. You should just stick those on barbecue skewers and it'll be easier Well, I tried that and they don't fit on there the holes of these beads aren't big enough So that's why I have the cookie sheet. I'm just gonna paint them sort of Haphazardly to get all of them covered so half of them in yellow and half of them in black and Of course you can use as many beads as you want if you want a longer or a, or a shorter Strand and we'll string them all together once they're dry Now we're gonna make a cute little striped mason jar. So I have my, of course, mason jar from Dollar Tree and my yellow and black chalk paint. I'm gonna give my jar three coats of the yellow to make sure it's good and covered. Let that dry really, really well before I add stripes of some painter's tape around and kind of making sure to space out the tape so I get that bumblebee striped effect. After I get the tape on, I'll give it a couple coats of the black paint, take off the tape, and it will have that striped cute bumblebee look.
And last is this adorable little frame. Like I said, it has this really great raised center. So I have a few things I'm gonna do to this. First of all, I need to take that center off because I wanna give it a buffalo check background. So I just went and Googled buffalo check background and this is what popped up. I sized it down so it will fit into the back of that. I'm just gonna glue that on. But first, I also want to paint this. So the frame is going to get a coat of black chalk paint. And after I pop the center off, I'm gonna give it a few coats of the yellow chalk paint. And then I have this little bumblebee that is part of the set that will be in my Etsy shop. So you can check crossmyheart.com again. And it will come in that set of three. And I'm gonna add him to the middle piece before I glue it back on and it'll be finished. so many cute different ideas for summertime decor. I would love to hear what you are kind of basing your summer decor around. Is it a theme or is it certain colors? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take a second and give it a thumbs up for me. I hope you'll stick around and click the subscribe button next to me and I'll put more DIYs that you want to check out linked below that. And you can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram for even more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.